On this video, I'm walking you through how I set up and shot this nighttime rainy car scene. And that starts right now. Hey guys, Ryan here. Welcome back to the channel. For this scene, I called in my new friend, Ryan Thompson. He's a local actor here where I live. And this is something that if you're wanting to practice your skills as a filmmaker, I recommend that you do. And that is to collaborate with local creatives in your area, whether that's an actor or whatever. So the first thing that I did for this scene was I looked at the surrounding area where we were going to be shooting. And this is a good uh, rule of thumb. Anytime you're going into a new area or on set to shoot, look around at the natural light that you've already got coming in. In my case, I knew we were going to be filming at night. So I knew across the street, there's like an arc sodium light that comes on once the sun sets. So I know I wanted to, I knew I wanted to incorporate that light into the scene somehow. So when I had Ryan pull the car in, I parked, had him parked the car in a way that wasn't really natural for the driveway that we were in, but I wanted to make sure I had that arc sodium light in the background and it could be viewed from the driver's side window while we're, we're shooting. And that's just gonna help make the background a little bit more interesting and it's gonna give you a chance to create some motivated lighting in the scene as well. Now to simulate that motivated lighting, we use my Aperture Light Storm set up at the rear end of the car and kind of uh, off to the side a little bit. Kind of try and match that tungsten look from the arc sodium light uh, shining on the rear of the car. Of course, we also had to have rain for this scene and it wasn't raining very much. It was a little bit, but not enough to really create the effect. So I put our water hose on a stand, used some clamps and used the shower setting and had it spraying on top of the car and just tried to get it to look as natural as possible. Angled it up a little bit so that it fell on the car naturally. You know, using a water hose outside when you're filming can be beneficial in a lot of different ways. You can spray the surface or the road or whatever it is that you're filming on. And it just gives the scene more visual interest when everything's wet and you know, you've got that light bouncing off of all those the wet surfaces. You'll notice in a lot of TV shows and movies, a lot of scenes have that damp, wet look and they'll actually go in and spray the environment down with a water hose and you know, it just makes everything look a little bit more visually interesting and not as flat. To put a little bit more light on my actor's face, we put my um, Godox SL60 light in the front with a lantern shining in through the front window and that created the, the look of maybe another street light out there uh, that he was parked directly under and kind of brighten the scene up a little bit. At one point, I think I had to actually angle the light down a little bit further than I needed to, so it came in through the front window. I did have it pointed kind of down on the hood of the car, and it wasn't really creating enough light for my actor's face, so I had to bring that down a little bit and have it come in more through the front window. After all that was set up, I thought things looked pretty good. Here you can see how each light looks individually when it's turned on inside the vehicle. And I think it actually looks great with just the uh, Godox light in the front. You could really pull that off too, as long as you have that you know, light in the background through the driver's side window creating that separation. I think that could work as well. And uh, the Aperture Light Storm in the back just adds a little bit extra to it. So I think either look here I could have really went with. And I actually think just using the Godox light actually looked a little bit better, if I had to say. Um, but it's just a different look. It's all subjective. I actually kind of enjoy that darker look of just that one light. And I think maybe I had the aperture light turned up just a little bit too much. So if I had to go back and do it again, I would probably tone that aperture light down a little bit on the rear of the car. But overall, I think this scene turned out pretty nice. Next, we just waited for the sun to go down and for that street light to come on in the background and we were ready to start shooting. I checked my composition, just had my actor run through some lines, just had him ad lib some stuff over and over again until we got some takes that we thought were cool. And then we also had the idea to set up my Aperture B7C light in the back of the car to simulate that uh, police light effect. And then we ran through some scenes of him pretending to get pulled over. And then that was pretty much it. Uh, after that, I just brought it in here to edit it and you know, threw a color grade on everything and added some sound effects. And then I just tried to cut it up and create a narrative, uh, a light narrative out of it just to make it interesting. If you wanna check out the completed short, you can check it out right here. I hope you guys found this video beneficial and I hope you learned something. Uh, hopefully I can make some more videos like this demonstrating how to set up and shoot simple scenes. I think this is a really great way for me to learn as a filmmaker and to help you guys out as well. If you watched the video this long, please do me a big favor so I know who my best viewers are and leave the comment tough call in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. I am Ryan and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.
want you to know it's 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 not your fault. It's not. You'll find out soon, and I just wanted to tell you I love you. <laughs>